have um, this post courtesy of Fold, my favourite club here in London, who it looks like at the moment they're currently struggling, um, basically addressing everything that's been going on at the moment in Gaza and what position and what stance they currently have. They put out a post originally that um, I think they might have deleted, actually. I think it's the one I've got here, courtesy of my image, um, or my IMGUR. And unfortunately, this post has been deleted, but it was basically their statement. And it got like over 300 comments or something, and people are going crazy in the comments. And for the most part, it essentially said that they, they were calling for a ceasefire. They basically acknowledged that there were losses of life on both sides. And, you know, it's abhorrent to see. And essentially, a ceasefire might be the best way to kind of resolve the situation for both parties involved, you know, especially considering how much blood has been spilled. But maybe the verbiage and stuff wasn't really the best. And obviously, with the ramping up of the attack from Israel, Israel and essentially what people are now basically claiming to be um, genocide that is basically happening there in Palestine and um, especially some of the images that we're seeing online and stuff has been super super heartbreaking and it's impossible if you don't have a heart to kind of see the humanity or the loss of life that's going on and not kind of sympathize with the Palestinian people especially when you're seeing the contrast images of people on the beaches in Tel Aviv acting as if like nothing's happening right which it isn't because they're not really affected by it but clearly um this is a very like one-sided it's a very uneven the impacts in terms of who's actually affecting so maybe people are seeing that as a problem um and you can read some of the comments here courtesy of the original post and um, that they put up um somebody replied in the in the comments and said love that you deleted my comment back there again to say that you haven't mentioned israel by name it's not enough what is stopping you from saying that israel aided by the u.s is causing the genocide um fold saying here as a reply as we've explicitly said in our statement we can and will remove comments that contain any level of harassment our team are part of the community like everybody else any other feedback we encourage you to email us so they're basically saying hey if you want to have an open debate and kind of you know tear apart our statement do so but don't go after our staff i guess maybe people are finding out who works at fold and DMing them not really too sure or just the comments are being too vile i'm not really too sure what the case is but if it was me i think there is no good way to to kind of you know represent your force within a little post on ig you're never going to really appease anybody because designers are going to come out and lambast you if you're sympathizing sympathizing quote unquote with hamas like they always kind of paint out and the, the people that are pro-palestine are definitely going to have an issue with you if you say both parties are in the wrong so you can't appease both parties so you're going to have to just make as much of a centrist comment as you can and then kind of live with the consequences of it and let people go off on the comments. Let them just, you know, argue amongst themselves, debate, you know, tear each other down, whatever it may be. But you can't really get too bothered or too annoyed if they pick apart your statement. It kind of just is the nature of the situation because of the loss of life, because of how emotional it is, um, because of how devastating it is, um, it, how sensitive it is to most people out there, especially if you're from that part of the country or just you have any sense of humanity anyway, you're definitely going to feel... Um, you know triggered by some of these comments people are making so i definitely understand why but i just feel like folks just leave it alone and just kind of hope for the best um another reply here says try being openly queer in palestine yikes number one says it's both sad and funny to see a queer gay lesbian trans friendly techno club standing up for people who throw members of the community off roofs in gaza another one says not a word on the other side on the 1500 dead israeli 242 still kidnap babies and kids and adults and then i guess they deleted that post originally one because i guess it had like 300 last comments since i last read it and unfortunately i didn't take a screenshot of it so i can't actually see everything but then they posted a new one recently that says the following it says the loss of life is devastating and ongoing bloodshed in gaza must stop um we stand in solidarity with those targeted and will join the cause of the immediate ceasefire to prevent more deaths please sign a petition of the uk government site link in the bio all the profits from yesterday's unfold will be donated to uh, medicine sand frontiers doctors without borders to support our ongoing efforts to provide aid that's a pretty nice statement they put out there i guess maybe the other one was a bit too wordy um and let's see what the comments are saying there regarding that actual reply how about you talk about releasing the hostages before the seventh ceasefire with hamas another one we're done taking a stand when you didn't have to what other taking time when you didn't have to the person says it's extremely sad to read many of the comments of this post see how the same division that we see in today's society is also present within the techno community stop shouting at each other whatever you believe you must be able to feel empathy for every human life that is lost or suffering for an israeli mother who lost her children in a terrorist attack as much as for every person taking bloodshed and guard the priority right now is the ceasefire and allowing humanitarian aid into Gaza now bravo fold for miss getting this bit right as supporting MSF what do I, let's see what the replies here on this and that actual comment 
most clubbers don't want their dance spaces politicized there's no need to like clubs to be political as people from all backgrounds dance there they should stick to music this is probably my take you know i'm not gonna lie i think you can't appease anybody anyway in these situations i think no here's what happens if you're going to have a political stance, because I think a lot of these spaces, they're having issues because they came out super hard um, in terms of backing Ukraine, when that was, an easy, that was an easy one to sort of like call, because the bad guy was always going to be Russia. And, you know, when the first images and stuff that we were seeing from Ukraine, it was very evident to see who the aggressor was, right? Who the victim was. But considering the long history um, of conflict that's been going on in Gaza and Palestine with Israel and the ongoing conversation or the be a war and genocide and bloodshed that's been spilled, um, you know, in terms of the occupation and whatnot, there's always going to be a lot of differing opinions on who's right or wrong. So I guess if you want do do the political stances, what I feel like has happened is that you just have to just say what you want to say and then just let it be. You can't then try to control the conversation, deleting stuff, taking down posts, you know, trying to clap back. It's just not going to work. Just say what you want to say. Have your stance, whether you're pro-Russian, whether you're pro-Ukrainian, whether you're pro-Israeli, whether you're pro-Palestine, whatever it may be, you have to just say your stance and leave it. But people obviously don't like the blowback and I'm assuming... You know, if you've got a big account and you're getting loads of notifications on your stuff, you're getting all these death threats in your DMs, it probably can be hard to deal with. But I think that's the nature of being political in this era that we're in now. It's a very um, fraught, you know, situation, very emotional. Everybody's on tender hooks. It just is what it is. So I feel like the only way to deal with it is to probably be apolitical as a club space use it as a platform where everybody can ascribe whatever you know everyone can kind of use your platform to amplify whatever political stance that they want right so if they want a dj behind your booth wearing a palestinian shirt or an israeli shirt they can do so but you don't try and go out there and do any sort of stances and shit that's the way it should be really so that you allow either side of the argument within quite within reason to have their say but then you also completely stay out of it and you focus on what you you can focus on if you want to do you know the stuff that they did in terms of, you know, lending the fucking profits from Unfold to Doctors Without Borders, that's amazing. But I think the only way to really deal with it, especially considering considering how, you know, um, how fucking political and how tense it is out there, is just to be completely apolitical and not be involved at all in the slightest. Even though people say, you know, techno music is, you know, inherently political, that's debatable really, to be honest, because for the most part, what they mean is a completely different era than what we're in now at the moment, right? No one really stands for anything nowadays. No one really has any kind of moral principle, no, no moral compass, no principles. Um, they don't have any backbone, really. And most of the time, we're all in it for the fun. We're mostly in it to queue up for the toilets, to go do our little bumps, to take our little pills on the dance floor, have a dance, maybe get off with somebody in the dark room and go home. There is nothing inherently political about the spaces we're in for the most part. If anything, the political nature of it is the fact that you could go in there and for the most part... Um, depending on the party you don't you know you, you're in a space where no one's going to judge you for your you know sexual orientation your color um you know your religion whatever it may be that's probably the the most it kind of gets to and that's maybe more of a societal thing but everything else you know clubs don't stand for jack shit really to be honest um they barely stand up for the fucking clubbers and the fucking djs let alone you know p political issues you know socio-political socio-political issues um you know it's just not going to be a thing anyway um let's see another comment here a person says stick to music techno raving is heavily political yeah, people will say that um directly controverse so that directly um contravenes the needs and wishes of the ruling class that is exactly the reason why as you say people from all backgrounds can dance there is absolutely need for a club to claims to be an artist-led community-driven space for the queer community space to be political um you don't get to defend feminism trans gay rights etc without being on the side of all the oppressed yeah but that's the thing though isn't it in 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 every in each war in all wars that practically there's always going to be a, a, a part there's always going to be people on each side that are going to feel like they're oppressed it just depends on who you identify but i guess nowadays people just don't like upsetting people that's basically the main crux of it it seems like right people don't really want to upset anybody but i think the nature of politics you're always going to accept somebody so you have to you have to be okay of you have to be okay with upsetting people and then just stand on your shit that's all you have to do really um another one says oh let's continue with the guys with the guys um comment here because uh, he actually fleshed it out really well even i disagreed with him i think he fleshed it out really well he says 
you don't get to defend feminism trans gay etc rights without being on the side of all the press and um, veteran israeli feminist hannah saffron said how can you ask for freedom for yourself if you don't ask for other people that's very true another one says uh turn it into being liberal so many fence sitters have outed themselves recently and they wouldn't consider anything but some dull performatism as best you def demand spaces like this they suit your knees seriously why do you come here so the fence sitting is not true i, I don't think it's fence sitting. some people just don't want to get involved because it's, it's it's a pretty it's not the most easier subject to get involved with in terms of having a nuanced opinion on you're not gonna you know sometimes you're maybe just not that interested in terms of getting involved because in it, it doesn't really affect you in any way shape or form and maybe especially considering how you know tense it is out there you just feel like you're probably not going to say anything that's going to really make any really difference so i get why some people don't really want to say nothing i really do understand it um let's continue on with other people here let's go past this because they're kind of arguing with themselves free gaza free palestine another says save life yes also israeli lives all those music lovers who went to the celebrate love and music and were butchered to death and kidnapped in hamas gaza is not only one hurting where's your mention of those people shame on you you know i've been actually surprised by by this whole thing i've been actually surprised how many people in the dance music community are number one jewish or have some sort of israeli background because there's been a lot of people especially djs who have been kind of getting lambasted um and being kind of labeled zionist because they've been obviously uh, maybe pointing up some posts that have been maybe pro-israeli more so and i've been really surprised to see a lot of people connected with dance music um come from that region of the world which is really interesting isn't it? just as observation um it continues love it says that was a unreal thank you another palestinian flag so it's seems like on social media for the most part a lot of people are mostly siding um with the palestinians um for the most part right and they're probably identifying a lot with the horrors that are going on over there more so than maybe the losses of life or the people in israel who have suffered um 1260 people were slaughtered in the music festival not a word of solidarity no word about releasing 240 horrors we are praying for the lives of all the innocent from both sides and that one says well done fold so another post here and then we'll continue on. This is Palestine again. Palestine flags. Thank you. And that one says uh, Blitz Club take notes. Um, tall people repeating the same thing about hostages and Hamas. You don't really care that much about human life. If it was your mother taken, you would really be defending the hellfire raining down in the city of Gaza. If Hamas were embedded in your country, your city would be saying um, that it's justifiable to blow up towns. Where was your hatred for Hamas during the years of Netanyahu who supported them? Where was your care for humanity and morality when Palestinians were being killed, abused, and stripped of their freedom every day? You just want to win the information war. Another person says, You show solidarity with those targeted, then you are showing solidarity with Hamas that is a murderous terrorist organization the reason civilians are killed in gaza is 100 hamas responsibility that ah, come on now that's a bit that's a bit crazy um hamas attacked israel knowing israel will respond hams operates from civilian centers knowing israel will not attack them hamas kills palestinians trying to move to south again this is this is definitely given former IDF soldier. Palestinians tried to move to South, save themselves when being warned um, by IDF. Hamas still holds more than 200 captain kidnapped Israelis, and the moment they send them back to Gaza, we will get all that is needed. Again, so a very different approaches for everybody here. Um, you know, again, pray for healing from you know from the outside looking in. That's mostly where you can pray for. The ceasefire is probably the best option in the situation. But I just think when it comes to clubs, it's just difficult. You know, because again, you represent so many different people from different walks of life it's hard to really um represent all people when these sort of conflicts happen or when these sort of wars or atrocities happen so the best bit you can do is if you're not gonna if you're gonna be conf if you're gonna be sensitive about how you respond the best thing to do is basically just stay out of it and just provide a platform where people can come and you know slap whatever message that they want to slap on your club like that probably is the way to go about things don't censor their posts and their t-shirts and their flyers and shit let them do what they want to do and then you kind of stay out of it so you basically um act as a platform the same way that x and instagram is right where you can basically post more well, to some degree anyway because some platforms are you know deleting some posts um depending on what side of the war that you fall on but in general that's probably the best way to go about doing these type of things i think going forward but um again um congrats to fall to at least trying to do something and put a statement out there but i think in general they should have just left it with the original one and let it rock how it rocked um but you know i, I can assume their mentions must have been going nuts so i definitely get why they wanted to kind of delete that and start again because that first post was definitely very very tense 